Hi guys, welcome back to Infosec Train. My name is Divyani and today we have Mr. Shrikant with us. He's a cyber security expert and a trainer at Infosec Train. Hi Shrikant, how are you doing? Yeah, hi Devyan, I'm doing great. I've heard that SINTRAD attack is a technique that is used to perform the DOS attack, that is denial of service attack. And a lot of people may have queries and doubts regarding it. So let's have a brief discussion about this topic. So, Shrikant, what is SIN flood attack actually? So, coming to the SIN flood attack, okay. So, what happening in this case? So, whenever the attacker want to perform the uh, denial of service and uh, distributed denial of service, these kind of attacks. So, basically, the attackers will use these kind of techniques like SIN flood attack, okay. So, coming to the SIN flood attack, what's happening is, let's say there is a user and there is a server, okay. So what I will do, whenever you want to request a server, server will respond back with the response. That is a genuine communication, right? So my agenda is, I want to disturb the server services, okay? I want to make the server down. So what I will do, I will use spoofed IP addresses, okay? I will use spoofed IP addresses. Spoofed IP address in the sense, uh, we can say fake IP addresses. Attacker won't use genuine IP address. He will use spoofed IP addresses. By using spoof IP addresses, he will raise multiple requests to the server, okay? So, whenever you raise a SIN request to the server, server will respond back with the SIN and acknowledgement, okay? So, whenever you receive SIN and acknowledgement from the server, as a genuine user, we will be sending the acknowledgement to the server, okay? So, that is what happening in the genuine scenario. But, as an attacker, whenever you are using fake IP addresses and spoof IP addresses, so whenever you raise a SIN request, the server will respond back with the SIN and act, but attacker won't give acknowledgement to this server, okay, because we are using spoof IP addresses, okay, so at that time what will happen, let's say, one attacker has raised 1000 requests, 1000 requests with 1000 spoof IP address, at that time what will happen, the server will be waiting for 1000 acknowledgements, Okay, it won't process. It will be waiting for thousand fake acknowledgements. Okay, so it won't receive any acknowledgement. At that time, what will happen? The server will get crash and it won't work. It won't work. So that is what will work. Uh, what will happen in the SIN flood attack? Sending multiple SIN requests to the server by using spoof IP addresses. We can call it as SIN flood attack. Yes. Okay. Uh, so how can we prevent a SIN flood attack? Yes, let's say, so the main major countermeasure for this attack, we can say, we can set the number of requests for each user, okay, let's say, I'm accessing one website, so daily I can send three requests for that particular website, okay, within 10 minutes I can send only three requests, okay, if you set these kind of limits to the server, okay, if, and each IP, you can send only three requests per minute, okay? We can set the limit for each and every IP. We can uh, avoid this kind of attack. We can avoid the flood. Okay. Thank you for your time, Shrikan. Uh, so, if you want to know more about SIN flood attack, you can check out our courses at www.infosecprint.com. See you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Stay home, stay safe.